am Asuma Bene, a police inspector and a member of Powerhouse Ministries. I'm a member of the church protocol and security. I have been in this church since 1st of January 2010. Many people might be surprised to hear this. But I first took a decision to be a member of PMI when I attended the all night service of 31st December 2009. And so day breaking 2010 January, I decided to be a member of PMI. So God willing by 31st of December this year, I'll be 10 years as a member of PMI. I joined this church at the time when we were not in a, a block building. In fact, when I came, it was a wooden structure. At least the foundation was a block, but it was a, a wooden structure. It was not bad, but it was a small place with a lot of heat and so on and so forth. Due to the hard working of the pastoral team being headed by Pastor Bernard, gradually there was a decision to put up this magnificent auditorium or the church building. We thank God that now we have a decent place to worship. The church I see at Powerhouse is a far different from what I experienced during my childhood. Here is a family. Everything is together. And we have a good leader who continue to teach us as the message goes. Here we are, what keeps me going and keep me telling people about Powerhouse is about the teaching of Pastor Bernard. And I've not hidden it for him any time. I meet him on one on one. I praise him, I congratulate him how he says the truth as it should be. Maybe he, may, he himself may not be aware. I've met two people who have left this church, and one thing they remember most is about Pastor Bernard's teaching. The truth teachings that have to do with modernity and so on and so forth. I'll say the church has impacted my life so much. And one message that I always remember Pastor Bernard for is that you can change your future, but you can't change your past. And he always says, you can't blame your parents, or you can't blame God for where you were born, or the parents you were born to, or you were born in Africa, or maybe you were born even in Choco. But life is about you. You see, these are some of the messages and the truth that the youth need to motivate them to do a lot for themselves. Well, I joined the service when I was struggling with my first degree. Through the teachings of this man, it gave me encouragement that I can do more than what uh, I envisioned. So quickly after my first degree in the year 2012, I went to insurance college to obtain a professional training as an insurer. From there, lo and behold, if you are sitting behind, before Pastor Bernard and you are being pushed every day to do more and to achieve more, I hope you will be tempted to think higher, or as the saying goes, dream big as the ocean. So I went to Gimpa Law Faculty with all the struggles. I passed the interviews and I started. Thank God today, I'm proud holder of an LLB from Gimpa Law Faculty, struggling to enter Makola. If I've not, it has not been powerhouse, I think that would have relaxed along the line. So that is why I'm saying this is a place for the youth, and this is the place you'll be pushed to do the writing. I don't know experiences of others, but if they understand the teaching and they are following, I think they'll be compelled. And it's not me alone. A lot of the young guys are studying, including the ladies in some places. Women are meant for giving birth, but not in powerhouse. In fact, NTA Fever have been assisting me. I don't know who knows, but for the past five years, 
It is between me and her alone. Maybe today a lot will hear from this video. <laughs> My relationship with Auntie Effie, but how we have been struggling for the past five years that nobody knows. I ran to Pastor Ebo on many occasions for school fees that I don't, I don't think many people know. So you see, this is the church that you need to be. It's not about the word of God alone as the pastor preaches every day. It's not about spirituality alone. But the physical development is also important. And if you are in a church like Powerhouse, you will do well. So it is my prayer that we will not remain at only Choco or few branches in Accra or Ghana. But what I pray for the church in the near future is that there will be more pastors. And I pray that some of us, no matter whatever is holding us back, one day we will get the courage to take up their mantle 